Although I'm quite a fan of Robert Louis Stevenson's writing style, I'd never read Treasure Island because, quite frankly, the narrative just didn't appeal to me. However, I'm currently working my way through Disney's back catalogue and Treasure Island is on Disney Plus, so I thought I might as well give it a watch. And I can say that actually I enjoyed the narrative a lot more than I expected. I didn't love it. It's definitely not my kind of film ordinarily, but I still like the narrative, but I really appreciated a lot of the um, the other aspects of it. The costumes were wonderful. The acting was very good. Um, various other things that I found to be very well done. This was released in 1950, directed by Byron Haskin. The screenplay is by Lawrence Edward Watkin, obviously based on the story by Robert Louis Stevenson. If you've read Robert Louis Stevenson's story um, and you know how it compares, please feel free, um, pre preferably without spoilers, to share how it compares um, because... I don't know if I'll ever get around to reading it, but I would be quite keen to see exactly whether it's a carbon copy or if they've taken quite a lot of creative license. The narrative itself is a pirate story, and that's basically the extent of what I knew about it. I was aware of a lot of the characters' names because they're you know, infamous at this point, but I didn't really know too much about the narrative. And it's about this young boy called Jim Hawkins, played by Bobby Driscoll, of course, who ends up going on a pirate adventure with Long John Silver, who play, who's played by uh, Robert Newton, and various other pirate characters. And I have to say, it started off very strong. Jim's mother, um, as we are told, runs this um, pub, b and I'm not entirely sure exactly what it is, um, where William Bones, Captain William Bones, is, is hiding. And I have to say that character, I really liked. His performance was fabulous. He's played by Finley Curry. And I really got the sense that he was a very um, sickly, haggard man um, who definitely didn't have his health at his best interests. And one thing leads to another after that opening and uh, Jim ends up going on this adventure, uh, <laughs> seeking treasure, of course. And there are very, very quite a lot of pirate-based obstacles and dangers along the way. It's quite violent, a lot of gun fight, gun fighting, gun shooting and fighting, and um, it definitely gets quite aggressive with a lot of the characters. Most of the characters are quite mean. Even the nice characters have a very snarly appearance to them. And I think everything is very well done, very well performed, brilliantly acted across the board. Um, the costumes, as I said, are incredible. Bobby Driscoll, gives an amazing performance. Um, it's quite unusual, maybe not that unusual, but certainly not that common for there to only be one child actor in a film. Um, but obviously he's one child actor acting amongst many adult actors and at no point does he feel like he's less experienced or you know, I kind of you almost forget that he's a child doing this. His performance is incredible. His facial expressions are amazing. But I expected no less from Bobby Driscoll. The the settings are great. The set designs, the pirate ships, everything just looks brilliant. It's definitely a true adventure film. I'm talking very positively about it. Although I did say it's not my favourite favorite kind of narrative. But actually I enjoyed the progression of the story. I thought new characters were introduced at a really good rate. I think it was easy enough to remember the different characters. Which is something I often find... Um, with films that are adapted from books, whereas with a book, you might have pages and pages to get to know a character. With a film, they're often just mentioned briefly and then you have to remember who they are, and sometimes adaptations don't work as well because of that, if there are a lot of characters. But with this, I felt like the characters were introduced well enough, and it was very easy to remember who was who and who was annoyed at whom and who had an issue with whom, and I, easy to follow is what I'm trying to say. Very well done. If you are interested in this kind of film, I think you will love it. However, if, like me, you kind of thought, nah, not really, can't really see it being my kind of narrative, still give it a go, because it's got a lot going for it, particularly if you like classic films and classic Disney. There will definitely be things in this film that will appeal to you. It may not be my favourite film ever, but I definitely can see why Treasure Island is a pretty popular film.